Hello guys, hope you're all doing okay. Um, right, so I've been getting like a few questions over the years about uh, resolution with an X-Gen, or at least people not realizing they're asking about resolution and X-Gen, and it is quite a confusing topic just because X-Gen maps aren't the most direct things to work with. So I figured I'll make a, a quick video, probably quite rambly to be honest, I've not scripted this or anything, uh, but we'll go through kind of how maps generally work. I'm not going to go through any complex pipeline or anything like that. Um, just explaining how maps work and what PTEX is and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I guess we'll get started. So, our scene is extremely simple. We've just got a plane and a groom, which has just been created. The only thing I've changed is the uh, density, the width, and the, um, the it's set to not tube shade. That's it. That's all I've changed. Um, and so we're just going to go in and create a map, and that's where we can have our first things to talk about. So I'm going to hit create map on this little uh, arrow down here. Now, map name, map resolution, start color. Pretty much everyone knows what map name is. Pretty much everyone knows what start color will do. Map resolution, though, this is the first moment of confusion, because what this is doing right here is not changing the resolution of your painted texture. This is changing the resolution of your PTEX map. Now, this is where I have to explain a bit about XGen. XGen doesn't, in of itself, use your UVs for painted maps. It uses PTEX data. PTEX is a form, to oversimplify it, it's a form of automatic UVs, kind of. It's based on like face area and a bunch of stuff that doesn't actually matter. Um, but the key thing to remember there is that this isn't the resolution of our painted map. So when you're actually painting your black and white values, you're not seeing this. So I'm going to set this to a very low value, let's say 1. I don't think you can actually go below 1, it doesn't do anything. Um, but I'm going to set this to a value of 1, and we're going to hit Create. And there'll be a few things that you notice off the bat. So I'm just going to hit Paint. I'm going to go into my tool settings, and let's just close up some stuff. And so I can just quickly flood this to... Um, zero and paint with the solid brush because I'm doing a mask. I'm just going to paint like a circle like this. If I can grab my Wacom. Paint a circle like that. Paint a bigger circle. Paint a triangle. And paint a squiggly shape. So let's do something like that. Let's see. So at this point I'm ready to, you know, plug this into my groom. So I'm going to hit Save Textures, which saves the painted map. We'll come back to that in a moment. And I'm going to hit Save PTEX, or Save up here. So the first thing you're going to notice is that these are not even close to being the same. And like, especially this little circle here is completely being missed. You'll also notice that we're kind of getting like quite square patterns. Oh, sorry, the microphone broke there. So we got quite square patterns, so we're not really seeing much of the roundness of our actual maps. We're just kind of getting these like uh, areas kind of carved out. See how we're getting all this kind of grid stuff. That is what you will see when you've got a PTEX map that is too low resolution. So what the hell do we do? Because we've already hit create our map. Like we can't change resolution directly from here. There's no buttons for it. Um, that's where the expression editor comes in. So when you create a map, the first thing that happens is it will go into the expression editor it will say $A equals map, and it tells it where to find a painted mask. And then from there, it has a semicolon, hash 3D paint, comma, 1.0. Now, if you think back to about a minute ago, when we created our PTEX map, or when we created our map, we said um, we want the resolution of one. So this is our PTEX resolution. Now, I can increase this, so I'm gonna set this to, let's say five for now. Uh, let's go 5.0, I think you do need that. And hit accept, and then hit save again. And then, I guess, update this. Okay, we might need to go higher resolution. Let's just try 30. Apply, accept. <laughs> now that I'm recording. Okay, hit save again. There we go. Okay. So we just had to go higher resolution than I thought. So yeah. I've gone to a much higher resolution. So let's go 
500. Hit apply. Accept. And hit save. There we go. So what you'll see is as I increase this resolution, I'm going to get more and more precise to the map that we've painted. So if I create more hairs, do something like that, we can find that this is going to start getting increasingly accurate. So actually, it's already pretty damn close. If I start walking that um, p-text resolution back down, so let's say back down to 100, hit accept, we're going to slowly but surely lose how precise that is. So you can see how we're getting hairs outside the mask. And if I keep going down, eventually we start losing things like curvature. So if we look at this area here, we're already starting to lose sections, like we're getting quite square shapes. But if I go down to, let's say, 50, 50, hit accept, hit save, we're even lower resolution. So that's that lesson. That is p-text resolution right here. Now, if you're wondering why I had to go to such a big number, it's because my asset is quite small. So that number is in a world space. If you're using a very small object, need r larger resolutions. I don't think it's tied to the mesh resolution itself. I think it is just the um, the size of the model that you're grooming. So I'm going to put that back up to 500. Uh, point zero, And just hit accept. Hit save. And there we go. So, what about map resolution? So obviously there's times when you're going to be painting maps where while you're painting, you're realizing that you know, you're know you getting really pixelated lines. Like in this case, this is high res enough, but let's say that we needed a really precise line. There is a way to change that. What we can do is just in the tool settings when you're painting, you can go to edit and assign textures or assign and edit textures. And here we've got this resolution. So I can set this down to a lower number, let's say 128, and that will automatically update, assign edit textures, and that will go down to a low resolution. I can paint in this resolution. It's nice and low res. If I hit save and then save our p-text, it's updating. So the p-text is still high resolution, but it's a high resolution version of a low res map. So here's where you start to get into one of those really confusing areas. As we change our map resolution, we're still not changing our p-text. So if your map is too low res and your p-text is right, it's still going to look low res. If your map is high resolution enough, but your p-text is too low res, it's going to still look low res. So if you feel like your map is correct, just play about with that um, the assign edit textures to get your painted map correct and play about with the p-text resolution to make sure that what action generates is as accurate as you need to your map. So yeah, we've increased that back up and we're starting to get all this goodness in there. So let's just quickly repaint something extremely basic. So I'll do something like that. Just going to clean up the edges. I'm going to get rid of that bit. So. That is kind of the basics of what you need to know, but there's one really awkward thing with PTEX in XGen, and this really bothers the hell out of me. Um, what you'll notice is that this whole time to change that PTEX resolution, we've been changing the expression editor, right? Now, another map that you will paint for most grooms is a region map. So if I just go down here, we've got region map here. The first thing you'll notice is that there is no expression editor. This is the most painful thing about XGen, like when you're painting maps and stuff. It's really annoying, but there is a workaround. So, I mean, first off, if you're painting your mask first, just remember what value you've done, and then you don't have to worry about your p-text resolution for your region map. But let's say you've made a region map and you're kind of stuck. So I'm just going to go in. Uh, I'm not going to bother um, doing a region map and guides and stuff. We don't need to. So I'm just going to hit create map. And we'll keep a map resolution of 1, that's fine. And we'll keep the map name. So I've got this map. It's beautiful, does exactly what I need. No issues, no changes needed. But let's say I needed higher resolution. You'd typically find you need higher resolution if your partings aren't defined enough. Uh, that could also be your region mask. But if you find that your parting is kind of blocky, um, so rather than being a perfectly straight or like slightly curved line, it's more like kind of a little Tetris thing going on, you need to change this map. So. Here's where we learn something quite basic about the expression editor. These expressions are just taking a map, it's looking for a path, and it's saving it to ptex. Like that's what this little command here is doing. It's saying it's 3D paint to convert it to ptex of this resolution. So we can replace this with anything. And what you will also notice is that this mask there is the same one referenced between these two little quote marks. So we have this region map. 
which tells us where the map is. All we need to do is create that expression and just replace this guy. Now, that gives us an issue because, again, we don't have a expression editor here. So the way that I personally like to do this is I'll go into preview and output. I'll go to primitive color and I'll just quickly go into here and in fact, we'll go back. I'll grab an expression with a painted map like this one. So I'll copy that, go into preview and output, go back to primitive color. I'm just going to paste that in and then I'm going to remove that dollar A. I'm just going to replace this with dollar B um, or maybe dollar region map. It doesn't matter, like this can be anything. I'm just going to hit apply, accept, and then I can hit save if I want, um, but I don't really need to. So now we can just go into primitives, grab our region map, go back to preview and output, and I can just replace this little guy here. Technically I can also replace it here, but we don't really need to. So I can just grab that, hit apply, accept, and just hit this little save button here. So I can click that guy, the red map comes up, perfect. I can hit that save, and that is now saving that p-text again. But now we have this control. We can put whatever number we want back here. And the neat thing with this is because this is in primitive color, we're not actually using it. We're calling $A, which is this guy. So we can do anything we want to this section, and it doesn't change our groom in any way. So it's completely left alone. Again, I hate the fact you have to do this. Like, I despise it. But it is a, quite an easy workaround once you understand the expression editors and how you can use them. Um, yeah, so I believe that's everything. I guess one bonus tip is if we go into the hypershade, whenever you create a map, um, it does actually create little file nodes. So if you need um, to paint a map in a different software, and let's say you wanted to paint on UVs, uh, you can actually just go into here, hit paint, grab the map that creates, because that will connect it up to a temporary Lambert material. You can just go into this, and it acts exactly like any file texture. You can replace this with any image, and as long as XGen can read, or as long as Maya can read that file, it will still be able to convert to PTEX. But that's a very tiny detail that at some point I'll make a video on if, if people uh, need clarification and stuff. But yeah, so that's PTEX resolution and paint map resolution. Uh, again, it's there's nothing too individually complex in there. There's just that kind of initial weirdness of the map you paint isn't the map that you get directly in XGen. It, there's that conversion in the middle. Um, but with those two bits of information of how to change your paint map resolution and how to change your PTEX resolution, you should now be able to do whatever you need in your maps because you, you have that power now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hit stop recording. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions or anything that you want me to clarify, either on stream or off stream, um, by all means drop a little question. Uh, there'll be a Discord in the description and shit like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll waste less of your time and enjoy seeing that, guys. Bye.